Okay. Ignite the Tesseract. Okay. I'm not even acting now. I'm, just, I'm literally just like watching it in the screen, just blown away. It's just the coolest thing ever. This has been described by its creator as a hyperchromatic, hyperluminous, infinity mirror art piece. I don't know what any of those words mean, but I don't half feel like Tony Stark when I stare at it on my desk. So first of all, these things come in three sizes. An absolutely mahoosive 15-inch version called the Hypercube 15, a 10-inch version called the Hypercube 10, and a 6-inch version called the Nano. I've never heard of 6 inches being called Nano before. Hello darkness, my old friend. Yes, you too, please. Yeah, he's, at, he's talking about his penis this week. Bloody penis! The two-way mirrors on these things are acrylic-based and can withstand the full weight of an entire human, meaning that the 15-inch version could be used as an insanely arty coffee table. And you can stack stuff on top of it without worrying about it breaking. The infinity effect goes right the way around the cube, giving it this insane 3D vision that will keep you mesmerized for absolutely hours. And my wife actually loves it. I'm not even kidding. She actually loves it. Of all the things that I've brought back home for this YouTube channel, this is the one that she went, Hey baby, this is the coolest thing you've ever brought home. We all know how much technology turns my wife on. Sex dance. <laughs> Steve, um, sorry mate, could you just press the subscribe button for me? It's, uh, it's just that you've been watching for a while and you've still not done it. It's all the Steve's suitably confused. Julian's next week. Hello. Following the events of several weeks ago, I realized I could no longer trust society not to hack my YouTube account, and I now stay here, in this box. The only place on earth that I now feel safe. Thank you. The version I received came with an American power supply, which is always a thrill. But it will depend on which model you buy as to how they will be powered. The smallest cube, which they're calling the Nano, will actually power off your PC's USB port, which makes it a perfect desk lamp. The other two beasties I received are distinctly less USB-y and uh, a little bit more. I think it's safe to assume that you will probably receive the power supply for your country. As a reviewer, I'm always sent American power supplies, it's, it's one of my pet peeves. But I will simply buy one off Amazon, you can get like a two pin kettle lead anyway that will replace this thing like for like. In the box for each of these cubes is a strange mystical booklet for some reason. I, I haven't looked at that, it's, I'm not sure what that's for. There is a control box for manually switching the cube's animations and for turning the device on and off. There is the cube itself, which has an ethernet cable hardwired to it for plugging it into the control box. And the nano cube has both a tiny stand and a USB charger. The larger units have beefier power supplies and their stands, it is worth noting, are sold separately at an additional expense. The stands themselves also come with a mystical booklet, which I'm, uh, I'm ashamed to say that I read. Apparently pushing six pins into six holes was too much for me. Once you connect each cable in turn, the cube will automatically boot into its default kaleidoscope sequence. Whoa! Which changes patterns every 60 seconds. <laughs> Whoa! And gives you new colors every 10 seconds. And the result is quite mesmerizing. It just goes on forever. Like my paranoia. Since I got hacked. Hello, darkness, my friend. 
I was I was actually looking into their marketing material, just doing my research, and uh, stumbled across these pictures of this guy. It was it was definitely not baked, dude. It's baked. I also note that they employed pound shop Lady Gaga and dollar store Kid Rock to look entirely too cool to be impressed. Anyway, let's talk about what this thing can do. Without actually installing any software, the physical button will switch patterns with a single press, change modes with a double press, and toggle power when held. For all other functionality, you do need to download the Hyperspace app, which is available on both iOS and Android. And Philips Hue users will love the way this thing is laid out. The app layout just... it just... What's that thing Philips Hue users say? It just works! And just work it does. You fill in your Wi-Fi details and the cube connects to your phone. From there, you can control power and brightness right on the main screen. But by clicking into the cube, you can start to make more interesting changes. In this menu, you can switch between kaleidoscope type effects, meditative, med meditative, meditative type effects, and sound reactive effects. Ba, 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 bo, be, ba, be, ba, be, ba, me, 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 me. Once you've found a pattern you like, you can set a specific color if you so choose, and add a total of three colors to the palette. Under the More tab, you can then alter brightness, speed, and intensity of the animation you have created, and even alter the symmetry and freeze the animation. Once you have something you really like, you can go to Favorites, select Saving Mode, and put it in a slot for loading up later. Other than a 60-minute countdown timer, which turns the device off after 60 minutes so you can go to sleep, the only other real functionality of note is that you can sync all of these things together. You could buy a whole bunch of these things and get them all to do exactly the same thing simultaneously, which is quite mesmerizing. This might sound like not that much functionality for quite a high price tag, and we'll talk about the price shortly, but what I've kind of skipped over a bit there is that there are 99 different animations to choose from, and they're all quite unique, and you will spend your entire life staring at this cube, like forever. Dude. The other thing I'm kind of skipping over here is the physical build quality of this thing. The LEDs, if you look really closely, they couldn't be more solidly built. These are not like cheap things that have been glued down. They're solidly put into this very solid box in a very solid way. And there's no joins to be seen. And you can stand on these things and they just hold your weight. They are like proper solid construction. And that is where the bulk of your money is going. Again, we'll talk about price at the end. There will undoubtedly be some dweeb in my comments section telling me, Oh my god, you should see what he's advertising! I can make this out of bits of perspex and some LEDs! Cool. Um, enjoy your gluey plastic box, I guess. You're not wrong, technically. I mean, I think there are some LED strips on the market that I have reviewed previously, which are absolutely awesome for this kind of a project, if you have the DIY skills to solder these things into perfect square shapes and get everything lined up the way it's supposed to be. I don't personally have that level of DIY skill, and even if I did, it still wouldn't look as good as this, it still wouldn't be as solidly constructed as this, and I still wouldn't have the native app functionality that this thing does. If I use someone like Govi, which would be a natural choice, the Govi app isn't going to provide these results no matter which option you choose. It'd probably look pretty cool, but not like this. One thing that is missing from this thing at time of filming is the ability to use your voice to control it. You're rewatching the beginning of this video going, LIAR! I, I, I'm not lying. What I did was I used a Wi-Fi plug socket to cut and reintroduce power. The Wi-Fi plug socket reacts to my voice and it turns this thing on and off. And it's worth noting that it does remember its last setting when power is cut and reintroduced, which means that after a short boot up sequence, it will return to your favorite setting each time you turn it on with your voice. 
What you can't do is use your voice natively yet. I've spoken directly to the guys that manufacture this thing and they said they plan to do it later this year, not only for She That Should Not Be Named, but also for Home Assistant 2. HOME ASSISTANTS! As of time of filming, the Nano version is £144, with shipping to the UK priced at £55. These are not cheap devices, but they are built to last. If you're a DJ, it makes sense to spend this kind of money on light boxes because it's part of your brand. If you're a YouTuber, this is an incredible set decoration piece and it's worth the price tag if you want to really stand out. If you just want a piece of art in your home that will start conversation, then it entirely depends on how much you normally spend on art. This isn't your run of the mill lighting rig. It has a price tag to match its craftsmanship. As a YouTuber, I love this thing. The Nano will look great on my desk. The 10 inch version will look great in the background of my photography studio for product reviews. And when I get a big enough house, the 15 inch version will make for a really cool coffee table. The price of these things will put a lot of people off. I'm in, I'm in no two moods about that. It depends if you're a professional, this is a sensible price tag for making your professional setup look even more professional. If you're a home user, you're just a consumer, it really does, as I said, depend on how much you normally spend on art. This is a piece of art and I absolutely love it. If you want to pick one of these things up, as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can do that. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. I'll tell YouTube's algorithms. It was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people running down your screen are my patrons from Patreon. I say it every week. I'm going to keep saying it every week. I can't stop saying it because they really are the one thing that keeps me going. Without these guys, there would be no channel. And if you want to be one of those people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, I'll genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. He's talking about his penis now! Bloody penis! <laughs> I've never heard of six inches being called nano before. I'm kidding, I'm massive. <laughs> Hello. Following the events of several weeks,